Okay, welcome to class. In class today, what you're going to do is you're, we're going to have an arts themed project. You're going to build a band real quick and you're going to use some of the music capabilities that are in Scratch. So let me show you uh, kind of what's going to be going on. You want to build a band. Um, you want to use sounds and instruments and just all sorts of things to make it look kind of feel like you're at a concert. I also want it to be um, interactive so you can click on things to hear sounds that some things will dance. It's going to be awesome. Let me show you a real quick example of a, a great project. So here's an example of a project somebody has made. Now, um, their interactive business is all about key presses. You could also do mouse flicks, but what they have is, look at these great instructions they gave on their project page. They said, you hit a space bar, you'll hear a drum. They said, if you hit V, you'll hear a symbol. V, you hear a different symbol. And so they have all these different things um, set up with through key presses, which is fine. You could also do mouse clicks um, or whatnot. And so notice the changing costume right here. The saxophone changes its costume, which is pretty awesome. The trumpet changes costume when you're doing it. So you get a little animation, you get some sound, you get some amazing things. I'll show you how to get this done real quick. So again, your mission is some interactive instruments to make it feel like you're at a concert. Um, there are some things in some sprites and scratch that are already ready for you that look very musical. You might try one of those. Um, you have a whole music tab. They're kind of these purple ones that have a bunch of blocks in there. You can use repeat blocks. You can do some. These are kind of just examples of what you might do to play some music. Now the music can get as complicated as you want and it can be really really cool. So let me show you some examples of just kind of throwing these blocks together real quick. Now you'll notice here's just a quick example I threw together. I've got an awesome backdrop. I've got a couple different sprites down here. Um, so make sure you understand the difference between sprites and costumes still like this sprite of the lady has two different costumes. So I could make her look like she's dancing if I wanted to. Um, this drum has two different costumes, so that's part of your costume. Now, um, you've got all these awesome things here in your sound tab, but here in the middle it's very purple. Now, um, when you play, for example, I could say play drum, and there are also different kinds of drums. I could play a snare drum, a bass drum, blah, blah, blah. I can talk about how many beats. There's also a rest, so that can make it kind of pause for a second. But this is really amazing because you can string those together and make whatever kind of sound you want. So you can get some, some pretty nice beats going on. You can also say that you love it so much that you want to play it twice or three times. So, so you can set up some pretty awesome beats going on. Now, um, I don't know how musically adept you are, but you could do all sorts of really cool things with these sounds. You could actually write a song. Um, if you know anything about the piano, then you could write a song and go to town. So what's really cool here is I'm on the saxophone. When I say the saxophone, I could say I can the set instrument is the block here. I can decide what I want to play. And I've decided that when they click on the saxophone, I want to play the saxophone. And then Oh, hello. There you've got the play note. When you go to switch what note you're going to play, you can actually pick it out on the keyboard. So if you know any keyboarding skills, you can decide what to do. You can compose a little song. So, if that's something that you want to do, you could write a song and get as crazy as you want. If you decide that you don't want to hear a saxophone, you can play it on the clarinet. So, there's just so much stuff that you can do here with your um, sounds. You can also um, do something like this. Change tempo would make it faster. So, I'm going to I'm going to go a little crazy. If I get me a repeat block, I could say play these notes, speed up, play these notes, speed up. So I could say, well, let's play it. And 
And so it would just continue to speed up every time it goes through. Now let me show you one other amazing thing. Um, does this guy have two costumes? He does. You could also have in your control, you could say, sorry, in your event, when somebody clicks the sprite, you could have parallel, um, parallel um, loops that run at the same time. So you could say, 10 times I want you to, you know, your best friend is switching a costume. Uh, I'm going to say next costume. And I'm going to slow it down a little bit so it doesn't get too crazy. And you could have, when I click it, it plays this music and it also changes its costume. So you could have very nice. Um, so you can have all, all sorts of awesome things so it looks like it's playing. Um, if you want to do a little something extra awesome, you could have them wiggle a little bit too. So you could say, that's not super exciting. Maybe I shouldn't have repeated that 10 times because it took too long. So maybe I should have brought the program down. But the moral of the story is you can do whatever you want Make whatever kind of music you want, um, and it's going to be gorgeous. Enjoy it.